back it's to another create a sim video so today we are going to be doing a fun one because we are going to be making the months of the year as sims so if you missed it a while ago i did days of the week as sims you guys really like that and i enjoy doing it so much because i'm not gonna lie these kind of things are so stupid but they're also my favorite things to do because they give me like an incentive to like make sims but also like the most stupid incentives like i could do anything i want and you guys would be like uh-huh uh-huh that makes sense like it doesn't make any sense okay i show this to my parents or, my, or anyone in my family members and they go that is ridiculous this is the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen how in the hell is that a march sim and i'm like that is literally march as a sim what do you mean anyways so yeah today we're making six months of the year as sims so we're gonna be doing the first six january through to june because i could do all 12 in one video but that would probably be like a 50 minute long video and no one wants to see that so i thought it said we would just do the first like for six, sorry, and then we do six again as the other months of the year. I'm getting so confused. Basically, I've just recorded a video and I've spent about three hours recording it and I'm really, really warm. So that's why I haven't really been posting. I'm very sorry, but basically if you missed it, I don't know how you missed it. The heat wave in the UK is ridiculous. It is currently only about, I think 23 degrees, which sounds probably like so little to most people, but for the people in UK, especially, it is so warm and I'm just absolutely dying right now of the heat. So basically I haven't been able to record at all, basically. So like, Last week I tried to record. I spent like the whole day trying to record videos and I just physically couldn't. And I get really overstimulated with the heat. And also I have a tiny little room. So when my computer's on, the whole room just gets so warm. So it was just very challenging. So I'm very sorry. There's been a little bit of a break. I really need to post another episode of the Zombie Pocket series. I know that, but they take a long time to film and they also take a lot of like brain power to film because obviously I've got like a script there and stuff. So I have to kind of be on the right mind space. I don't want to just get a video out for you guys that I'm not proud of. Like, especially with the zombie series. Like it's just it just makes more sense to like spend more time and like, you know, have a little bit more of a break so i'm very sorry about that but hope you guys don't mind too much so we are starting off today with january of course like i say we're just gonna go chronological order so january to me is literally this sim like this sim is the epitome of january to me january is just sickly i don't know what it is about january but i just get the worst vibes i think it's just because it's after christmas and like christmas is the best time of the year to then go to january the worst time of the year when nothing exciting happens nothing good happens in january like nothing has ever come good of january i hate that month okay because you gotta take it down all your christmas decorations decorations it's depressing it's always like gray outside you're back to school i'm not back to school i'm actually f fully finished with college which actually terrifies me i'm no longer in education which is very scary to me i've had a little bit of time where i haven't been in education when i dropped out of school but that was like only for like a few months this is the rest of my life which is quite scary so i'm kind of <laughs> kind of terrified uh but yeah also my makeup has like fallen off so we don't talk about that the heat has just i, th I think i'm just like i think i'm just melting like you know you know wizard of oz when she's like i'm melting i'm, I'm melting right now i am physically decrepit that's not even the the right word. I'm basically just water at this point. I'm a liquid. My back is stuck to the chair. It's disgusting. It is disgusting in here. Glad you guys aren't here with me. Let's just say that. Any, anyways, I mean, I love you guys, but you don't, you just don't, you just don't want to be here right now. Anyways, the point is, is that January to me is like sickly. So I made have these like eye bags because she's really tired. You know, it's just been Christmas. It's just been New Year. You're just having a bad time all around and like you're just feeling all sad for yourself, which is exactly how I feel. But she's got a hoodie up. She can't bother to like do her hair or anything like that. I also get different colors associated to me with with each month. So let me know what you guys think in the comments because it was really interesting last time when I did the Days of the Week of Sims because a lot of you guys had totally different opinions to me, which is crazy because to me, these are like the Sims. Like to me, these are the months. You know what I mean? Also, the first Sim uses they them pronouns. I also made two male Sims in this video. Insane. Basically, I was originally just gonna make all female Sims, but then I was like, what if I make like some non-binary Sims and also some male Sims as well? Because it's kind of challenging for me to make male Sims. Like we know this, okay? we know I'm not good at making male sims but it's also one of those things that I've been wanting to do a lot more lately and like I'm kind of trying to do it whenever I can to kind of try and practice a little bit and I'm not gonna lie I'm really happy with both of these sims I feel like I made every sim in this video I feel like it's very different to my normal sims whether that's just because I haven't made sims in a hot minute where I'm like thinking that they look different or something I don't know but to me they look very different to my original like to how I normally make my sims like my normal sim style hopefully you guys can see that you're probably thinking no Lana they look the exact same as your normal sims and I'm probably thinking yes they do like a week later I'm gonna look back at this and think these are literally my exact sim style. But currently, I'm feeling very proud of myself because I feel like all these sims look very different. Anyways, so yeah, January, grey and white and black is the colour scheme I went for. Basically, just lolloping around the house is exactly what I tried to go for here. I just think that is perfect. So for February, oh, oh the first sim is called Joe, by the way. Joe January, Faye February is this next sim. So for Faye February, I basically started making, so the March sim was originally meant to be the February sim, hence where you can see the March sim in the bottom left-hand corner now 
So I made them in the opposite order because I was trying to make the March sim be February, but I realized that the March sim was looking way too much like March to be February. So I ended up swapping the March sim that was originally meant to be February just to be March, and then I made a new February sim. That did not make a lot of sense, or at least it didn't feel like it did to me, but you know what I mean, hopefully. But basically, I just, I, I realized that the sim was looking too much more like March than February, so I just went with that. I know, again, this is ridiculous of a premise. I'm well aware of that, okay? But I don't really care, so yeah. Like, I just don't care. Like, it's just fun, okay? It's just fun. I feel like I barely have any makeup on right now. It's actually, like, kind of stressing me out. Like, I normally have, like, big lashes on and stuff, but the heat is just, like, absolutely not, darling. Like, absolutely not. If you think I can handle that right now, you are having me on, okay? So anyways, what was I saying? I don't quite know. So February. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, also, I felt like I had something to update you guys on. Genuinely felt like I did. Oh, yeah, the background. I don't know. I, I don't think I've shown it yet. I've got little bats there. And I've also got my main light off. And then I've got like a little light down there that you can see in the little bit there. And then I've also got like a little bat on there. I got like a little hanging bit up there. You can't really see it right now at all, probably. I, I did all this stuff thinking that you'd be able to see it in the background. Then I realized that you could literally see like 2% of my background in my videos. So I was like, why did I just do this? That is ridiculous. So yeah, it was a bit of a wasted effort, really. But <laughs> I spent a lot of money to, 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 to do nothing, really. But I, I I kind of like the idea of decorating for like autumn and stuff because I, it's it's so annoying as well to me because it's like oh I'm celebrating for autumn like you know I'm like starting to do autumn stuff babes it is currently a heat wave like this is not autumn okay this is not the autumn I want this is not the autumn I need I need cool weather I need to be wearing tights I need to be wearing jumpers I, I'm one of those people that like I, every time it's like okay so when it's winter I'm like oh I can't wait for it to be summer and I can wear like crop tops and skirts again but then when it's summer I'm like oh, I can't wait for it to be winter so I can wear jeans and a um, jumper again like I can't win I think I just don't like any months of the year. I don't like the cold. I don't like the warm. The only time I like is the in between, and that is very rare in in the UK right now. It's either freezing cold or burning hot, and I hate that so much. Okay, because it's driving me mad. All I want in life is to have just nice in between weather. I just want I just want to be content. I just I don't want to be too warm. I don't have to wear a blanket. You know, I just want to be I just want to, just, I just want to be in between. You know. Also, I'm just gonna talk about this for a minute because I just hope that someone else can relate to this. I've gotten very into Wordle lately. In fact, for the last few months, I have been into Wordle every single day. I play. Wordle Wordle, Octurdle, Turtle. What? Turd? I didn't realize it had that word in it. Sorry. Anyways, what are the other ones? I play New York Times mini crossword every day. I play The Connection, which is my new favorite. I play Polygonal and I also play Contexto. And I feel like I just want to talk about this because I am currently and have been for a while obsessed with the people on TikTok. Hopefully, you know who I'm talking about and you're not, you don't think I'm just going crazy. But there is four people. Well, actually, there's more than four now. Wordle players. You got Savannah, you got Michael, you got Cam, you got Kenny. Now you got Bryn as well. And like, there's a few others. And I love them all so much, okay? They are my favorite part of the day lately. Like, playing Wordle is my absolute number one favorite part of the day. I'm enjoying it so much, and I love watching their videos, and I just want to let you guys know that I love Wordle, okay? And I I just, I just, I just feel like someone maybe can relate that's watching this video, that you guys love them as well, because they're really great. If you're not into Wordle, go and watch them on TikTok, okay? They are amazing. If you just search, like, Wordle, and then Michael, or Savannah, or Kenny, or Cam, or Bryn, whatever, you will find them, and they are amazing. And I just wanted to go on this little tangent, because I really like watching Wordle players, so I just want to let you guys know that. Oh my god, it's quite terrible. Also, I've been really into Minecraft lately. I've low-key not been watching many Sims people anymore. Like, I just want to let you guys know, okay? I feel like every content creator it doesn't really watch other content creators. I am the total opposite, okay? I am a fan before anything else. Like, I have been watching Lil Simsy since I was like, how old? Probably when I, I think it was 2015 or something. So I've been watching her for ages. Vixella, Clash of Vaughn, Plumbella, Stepho Sims. Honestly, all of them I've been watching for so long. I just want to let you guys know, I'm a stan before anything else, okay? I'm a fan of them so much. I love them so much. And I watch them like every single day. But lately, I've been more so focused on watching Minecraft YouTubers, which is like, I go through these phases of Minecraft. I feel like everyone does the same thing as well, where they go through like Minecraft phases. But currently, I'm in my Minecraft phase, okay? I've been playing Minecraft. I've built this cute house. Maybe I could like put it on screen. That's kind of embarrassing. I won't put it on screen. Um, that's kind of, do you guys really want to see that? No. But I've been playing Minecraft a lot. Really enjoying it. Just want to let you guys know, I love Minecraft. If you guys didn't know, I actually started my career as a Twitch streamer, as a Minecraft player. I did Bed Wars and it was terrible because I'm not good at Bed Wars. But that was like my main thing back in the day. And now, I don't play Minecraft at all for content. I just play it when I'm just playing it by myself and it's really fun. And because of the heat wave, I've just been having so much time to like do other stuff. So I've just been having a lot of fun playing Minecraft. So I just want you guys to know. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. I forgot to even talk about the February sim. Basically the February sim, pink for Valentine's Day, of course. I think she was a cutie patootie. I love the outfit I gave her. It's like this cute dress, the pink and the white. To me, the only thing I can think about when I think of February is Valentine's Day. It's actually really sad because I'm in fact single and have been my entire life. So I don't know how I can possibly relate to this sim at all in the slightest. I hate 
Valentine's Day, in fact. But there's something quite fun about making in Sims. Like, I just love how this sim turned out. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this as well. I have done this before. So if you've been watching my Twitch streams back in the day for a while, I think about over a year ago now, I actually did this, but I only, I think I actually, no, I actually finished it, yeah. I did them all back in the day on my Twitch streams. I went on the gallery and looked at them. Honestly, I don't, I'm not glad they're not that bad. Like, I thought they'd be worse than they actually are, but they're not that bad considering my style has changed a lot. But yeah, I actually have already done this, but I wanted to do it again on YouTube because you guys can actually like see it for a long portion of time. It's not just like one Twitch stream, you know? So the March Sim is called Marla and she uses she, her pronouns. She is probably my favorite out of this whole group because I don't know what it is. I don't know, like whether it's the hair, whether it's the outfit, whatever, I don't know. But like I say, I started making her in February, but then I realized that this is such a March Sim. Like the browns, like the brown tones are just an oranges. To me, a very March. I know that's probably kind of a controversial opinion because I feel like that's more of like a November, October vibe. But to me, March always gives me that energy. So hopefully you guys agree that that's 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 similar to what you guys think because that's what I always think is that I just feel like March is an orange color. Let me just go through in my head, okay? I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what colors I associate with each month. So January is gray, February is pink, March is orange or brown, April is yellow, May is pink, June is blue, July, I never know with July, which is weird because that's my birth month, but I always kind of go for like purpley blue is kind of what I think of for July. The, the thing is August, September, October, November are all very similar to me. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that if I do that as well. Like if I if I do a second part, God knows how I'm gonna do that because genuinely I have no idea. Like how am I meant to differentiate those four months? I don't know, but we'll have to figure it out, I guess. Hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully I'll be able to make some different Sims. I don't know. But yeah, basically just, I associate different ones with different things. Apparently it's called something. I forgot what the name is. Yeah, I've literally forgotten the name is, but it's that one where you can like associate things with things. I, I don't know if I have that or not, but you guys said apparently I do. Apparently you guys do. That's very cool. I just like doing these kind of things. I also feel like there's other ones I could do. Obviously like Seasons as uh, Sims is a classic. I've done that before in the past, like many, many moons ago. Many moons ago I've done that. I don't know what else there is. I can't really think right now. I definitely want to do some like other like ones like this. School Subjects of Sims. That's been on my list for ages. I really want to do that. That one is such an easy one as well. Like, are you kidding me? English, coffee, books. That's all I think of. Maybe that's just because my teacher was like that. I don't know. But anyways, the point was, yeah. But yeah, I really love how Marla turned out. Definitely my favorite. I feel like I just love her. I just love her. Okay. I just love Marla. I just love Marla March. I love her so much. Plus the name Marla. So cute. Anyways, what else can I talk to you guys about? I'm trying to think. You know, I haven't really done much the last few days. Watched a few movies. Oh my God. Can we just discuss the fact that this is so out of topic? Let's just talk about it anyways. Can we just discuss the fact that the nun is over, over hated? Okay. Over hated. Because I watched it for the first time the other day. I quite enjoy it. Okay. I gave it like a seven out of 10. By the way, follow me on Letterboxd. I'll put my little thing on the name on the screen now. If you guys want to see what films I'm watching, go ahead and follow me. I put mine on there every single day. I leave some reviews sometimes kind of badly. My reviews are stupid, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know. I, I, I kind of love the nun. I think it was a great film. I think it was a good film. Like it's not the best, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm not really that big of a fan of the Conjuring films anyways, because I'm not big into jump scares and that's pretty much all those films. I just don't really like them. I think they're very cheap. I feel like they're just very basic, but the nun wasn't bad. Like I, I thoroughly enjoyed that film. And then I watched the nun too. Not quite as good, but I watched it yesterday and it was still pretty good. Like, you know, so I just feel like it's an overheated movie. So yeah, it's just because the Nun 2 came out. I just want to talk to you guys about that. I'm sorry. I just need things to, to talk about right now. I'm not gonna lie. And you know how much I love films. So yeah, Um, <laughs> I just thought I'd let you guys know. I also have been watching All of Us Are Dead. Probably a really stupid mistake because I'm getting really, really, really bloody scared of zombies again lately. Like I used to have this massive fear of them where like I literally, every single time I went to bed, I would dream about like have a nightmare about zombies like every single night. And I'd be breaking into my house and killing everyone and it, horrible, horrible, very very vivid dreams that I used to have. So I kind of got rid of those a few years ago. And then lately, because I've been doing not only my zombie series, but also been watching All of Us Are Dead and also been watching some other things that are zombie related because I've been back into zombies, I've gotten that fear again and I'm getting very scared of them again. And it's get getting very concerning because it's making it much more difficult to film my zombie series. Don't get me wrong, I don't find the zombie series scary in any way because I'm controlling The Sims, you know, like I know I can control what happens, but in terms of zombies themselves, they're starting to terrify me. Honestly, they're starting to terrify me. It's getting really bad because like I really don't want this to happen again. So I need to stop, like I need to finish All of Us Are Dead immediately so that I can get rid of this zombie thing from my life because I do not want this to happen again, okay? I do not want this to happen again. It was a really bad time. Anyway, so this sim is April. So this sim is called Asa and he uses he him pronouns. And like the pronouns and stuff and like the genders, totally random. I just, just whatever it felt like really. I kind of associated some with different genders, but not really, like let's be honest. I basically just did what I fancied, you know? So Asa, I think, again, like, I love him. I feel like he's really, really cool. And I feel like for one of my male sims, he's like, you know, pretty good, you know? So I'm kind of happy with that. I really like the like color scheme I went for him. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. Like, let's be totally honest here. I wanted to go more like 
like full force for this sim with the yellow but i just couldn't find anything that looked good like none of the because i just don't have male cc basically i just have i feel like i have so little male cc don't get me wrong i have a lot more than a lot of people like i do have a lot of male cc but a lot of it is a specific style and to me april is like more of like a like a cutesy like a month i don't know why i just always get that vibe so i didn't want to go for like i don't know like certain things that i had even though they looked really cool but i also had this thing where i was like okay i need to make sure each month looks like the season that it's in like so january is like very wrapped up february to be fair she's not really wrapped up let's be honest she'd be freezing in that outfit but that's not my problem march i gave her like some tights i think and like kind of wanted to make each one look like they were in the certain season i'm not gonna lie for may you'll see it in a little bit i gave her this coat at the end i end up get rid of that because i realized that in the month of may you would not be wearing a coat like that so please ignore that i do take that off after this video is recorded but when it's up on the gallery oh also full cc list i don't know if by the time this video has gone up i'll be able to have fixed the tumblr thing but basically i couldn't put them all in one tumblr list i don't know what was going on why i couldn't upload it but if i had them all in one it wouldn't work so i might have to do two separate posts i don't know but there will be a full cc list a lot of you guys have been asking lately about like my cc and stuff number one i cannot upload my cc folder is against like 99 percent of creators tos um which is terms of service so they do not want you to re-upload their ccs so there's no way i'm doing that because obviously like you know they don't get money from it say if it's on certain things they don't get the credit so i will not be doing that but number two is that i have a lot of stuff linked in the description i have like my i think it's like a hundred and something favorite hairs i have my hundred and something favorite male hairs if you look through my videos and you if you like go onto my youtube tab click search and then search cc you'll probably see like a gazillion videos that say cc list and if you click on that you can look in the description and that's like most of the cc that i use is from like my favorite creators so you'll be able to find a lot of the stuff another tip as well is that if you want something particular is to just look at the thumbnail that's on the screen so like pause it the thing you want and then a lot of the thumbnails have the name of the creators on there so that's another little tip if you want to like find out which cc i'm using that's like one of the main things that i do personally the majority of the time you can find out what cc is based on that so like say if you wanted a certain shirt but you just saw the name of like say trilogy then just search trilogy and then just look through their stuff i'm sure you could find something similar or at least the exact same one depending on how far you look but like i say majority of the stuff i use the same creators for basically the same creators that you guys use as well not you guys but like the whole of the community use like trilogy a harris and like clumsy alien dogzil there's like so many like sims trouble and stuff obviously there's a lot of like creators that basically the most popular ones are the ones i tend to use so you guys should be able to find stuff if you want but if you want anything in particular you can ask in the comments but it's kind of rare that i'll respond because every time i look at comments i'm not on my computer and so i can't find it and then like i just forget so i'm sorry about that but anyways so this sim we are now is called may which is kind of funny i called her may may but i called the first name is m-a-e and then obviously may is the second one so it's may may i just i don't know why i just wanted to do that for one of these sims i could have done it for pretty much all of them let's be honest i'm pretty sure most of these are names so maybe not february i don't think that's a name i don't know maybe it is but for may i like i say i go i get pink energy from may so she uses she her pronouns and i don't know what it is but pink just feels may to me and there's no real reasoning so to me february is like a pastel pink but may is like a hot pink and i don't know why that is okay but i just get it i just get that vibe so i really like how she turned out i went for these eyebrows which i didn't even know i had because they have one black and one pink and it was literally perfect because then i matched it with the leg warmers and oh my good god did everything just come into place at that point i love it so much i think that that was like such a cool idea of having like the eyebrows matching the leg warmers i was so happy when i did that i'm not gonna lie also these sims took me so long it's basically because i was recording this during the heat wave like when it was like 30 degrees in my room so hence why like i took so long because it was taking like a lot of brain power to really do this because i don't know about anyone else but when it's warm my brain just mushes like i have nothing going on like nothing in that brain to think no brain cells nothing happening like if i try my best to make a sim it still takes me like over an hour which is really embarrassing like this final sim took me an hour to make how i don't know genuinely each one of these was like my only project for the day was to, like make one sim like that was it because i just can't be productive in the heat yes yeah, so i think that may turn out really cool and i really like how she looks i think that the pink and the black definitely work maybe i would have gone for less black but i liked that style and i feel like y2k fits very well with may again and like i say i got rid of the coat afterwards because it did look a bit ridiculous for may because it's kind of hotter when it gets to may i feel like i've said may a thousand times i'm so sorry but finally we're moving now on to june so this sim is called Jax, and he uses he and pronouns i feel like he looks so june i feel like he's the most like it like i feel like him and january are like the most particular they look like the sims not the sims the month sorry like they look like this sim is june like i don't know if it's just me i feel like i went with like the freckles i feel like he's very ken like i feel like he would act like ken from the barbie movie i just get that energy but i use this hair by sims trouble it's a it's in early access right now but it should be out pretty soon i think and i gave him like a load of freckles i gave him like the blue eyes with like the blue shirt like i say to me june is blue and then i just basically wanted to make him look like okay i feel like i've seen this on tiktok all the time i'm not gonna lie i never did this personally maybe once i don't 
don't know. But you know when you're on the beach and you're about 13 or 12 years old and you see this lifeguard that's like quite attractive and you start doing cartwheels or like, you know, handstands to try and impress him. Bear in mind this man is like 20 years old and you're like a 12 year old wearing a Barbie swimsuit. That is the kind of vibes I wanted to get from him. I, I don't know what it is, but that's that's who he screams, you know, like the holiday crush is what I wanted to make. And I hope I, I hope I did that because I think that that's exactly what June is. I think it's this beach boy. His job is beach indeed. Um, he is a lifeguard. That's what he does all day. And I, I just, I just, I don't know what he does in winter. He just, he just, he just goes into like hiding in winter. He just comes out, he hibernates in winter and comes back out in the summer months. I don't know. But yeah, I think he turned out really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I actually made, I think I made, I made three of these Sims lesbians. I made one bisexual Sim, one pansexual Sim and one gay Sim. I did not make a single straight Sim. Um, my bad. I honestly didn't realize until afterwards, but yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments. I gotta go with Marla and March. I just gotta. I just love, I love that sim so much. But let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to do this again. Obviously, it will be the second part. So from August to December, uh, July to December, sorry. Oh my God, I can't even get my months right. Let me know if there's any other challenges like this you want me to do in the comments down below. Maybe it's like, I'm subscribed if you want. Also, sorry that I'm not reposting really that much. Like I said, it's the heat. But yeah, hopefully there'll be videos up again soon. Let me know if it's like, I'm subscribed if you want. And I'll see you guys in a video. I love you guys. Bye. That was terrible. That was actually terrible.